All right, welcome to chapter seven on sampling distributions. Uh, today's lesson on section 7.1, or day one, we'll cover just a few slides. Uh, it'll be a pretty quick presentation today. And we're going to start off uh, with the question, what is a sampling distribution? And build our way through that. So in this section, in section 7.1, uh, you should be able to distinguish between a parameter and a statistic. And that's all we're going to do for this first video. Uh, the second video for uh, Lesson 7.1 will cover the rest of these pieces right here on how to use the sampling distribution of a statistic to evaluate a claim, distinguish among the distribution of a population, the distribution of a sample, and the sampling distribution of a statistic, determine whether or not a statistic is an unbiased estimator or uh, of a population parameter, and then to describe the relation between sample size and the variability of a statistic. So uh, these last five check marks will cover in day two. For day one, we're going to look at the process of statistical inference. And that involves using information from a sample to draw conclusions about a wider population. Many of you can go out and do uh, collect data, collect information from a population, in your sample is more than likely different than somebody else's sample. So in other words, your mean uh, would be different than somebody else's mean, than somebody else's mean. Um, and what we're going to look at is that those different random samples, they yield different statistics. So in other words, again, your X bar was different than somebody else's X bar, than somebody else's X bar. And we need to uh, be able to describe the sampling distribution. So in other words, if we put all of those X bars, all of those X bars that each different person collected together, we need a way to describe that sampling distribution of possible statistic values in order to form statistical inference. Well, we can think of a statistic as a random variable because it takes numerical values that describe the outcomes of the random sampling process. So in other words, the, the your x bar uh, can be a random variable. It can take on different values uh, as it does when different people do uh, the same uh, the same collection of data. They come up with a different mean based on how many they've collected uh, and uh, just the random variation. So we we'll always look at a population. We got our population. And we're going to take a sample from that and collect data from that in order to make an inference about the population. So as we begin to use sample data to draw conclusions about a wider population, we've got to be clear about whether a number describes a sample or a population. And we've talked about this before in earlier chapters. A parameter is a number that describes some characteristics for the population. Again, parameter, population. A statistic is a number that describes some characteristic, characteristic of a sample. So, again, a, statistics, so a statistic comes from a sample. A good way to remember that is the S and the P. Statistics come from samples. Parameters come from populations. So S and S and P and P. So in the past, uh, we've written the Greek letter mu, the Greek letter mu here, for population mean. And then we use x bar for the sample mean. And that's nothing new, because we also have used, uh, for standard deviation, uh, we've used uh, s for the sample standard deviation and sigma, lowercase sigma, for the population standard deviation. To introduce a new one, uh, we're going to use P, the letter P, to represent a population proportion. So in other words, so many out of so many. Like, you know, something like 35 out of 72. Um, you know, that would be a, a proportion. Uh, if it comes from a sample, the sample proportion is what's called P hat. It's got a little hat on the top there, a little uh, carrot, uh, if you want to call it that too. Uh, but it's called P hat, and that's a uh, sample portion, then we're going to use that to estimate an unknown parameter p. So first section just really about definitions and being able to understand uh, what a parameter is. 
what a statistic is, and then just the different uh, variables we use uh, for statistics and parameters. Should be able to do problems now on numbers 1, 3, and 5 in section 7.1. Uh, good luck, and we'll see you on the day 2 video.